two of the NBA's best thus far in this very young season. Zion Williamson and the New Orleans Pelicans at home hosting Larry Marketing and the Utah Jazz. If you're a Pelicans fan, you're not going to want to see this. Just two guys hustling for the ball. It'll end up, though, with Brandon Ingram getting smacked in the face. He would leave the game. As I make this video, he's actually been diagnosed with a concussion. Prayers to B.I. Zion and the Pelicans would keep that thing moving, though, as Zion throws it down. Not once. Make it twice. The big fella looking good thus far this season. Pelicans up by five. Larry Marketing has been great so far, but not right there. Devontae Graham goes up and takes some. You know Jose Alvarado loving that defense. Marketing's like, okay, you, you got it, but I can get some too. Larry Marketing with the throwdown. We go to the fourth quarter where this one got good. Jordan Clarkson with the juice. And just like that, the Utah Jazz go up by 17 points. Scary sighting here again for New Orleans. This time, it's Zion in transition. And as you see, Jordan Clarkson gets ball. Zion, though, falls hard on the ground. Just an awkward landing for a big dude. That's a posterior hip contusion. He would leave the game and not return. So the Pelicans lose both of their young stars, but they still got CJ McCollum and Larry Nance Jr. Help bring this team back. McCollum's three-pointer with under a minute to go actually puts the Pelicans up by three despite not having their two stars. Clarkson trying to keep Utah in this one. Almost turned the ball over. Larry Marketing tracks it down and Clarkson knocks in the three. How about that? We're tied at 110. Jazz looking to walk it off in regulation. Clarkson had himself a good one. Couldn't make that one, though. So we go to overtime in the extra period. It's McCollum going to his left. He's so great at that. That gives the Pelicans the one point lead eight seconds to go. Last chance for the Jazz. Who you gonna call? Kelly Olenek with the scoop and the score and the game. Unless New Orleans could make some magic up here. McCollum gets a look. It's no good. And ladies and gentlemen, how about this? Behind Larry Marketing's unreal start to the season, he had 31 and 12 in this one. The Jazz are now 3 and 0 on the season with a 122-121 OT win on the road. Yeah, so Zion's got a hip contusion and Brandon Ingram's got a concussion. They're both unavailable for the Pelicans next game against the Dallas Mavericks and honestly, you know, Brandon Ingram, he doesn't have a, a, a history of injuries. I got to admit to you guys, I am concerned about Zion again. And now I'm concerned about his ability to fall, right? Like, that's one of those plays where it's like, yo, like, the play was made on the ball. He got a lot of ball on that block. Zion just didn't fall properly. Just a heavy load coming down on the, on, on the court. And unfortunately, he did not catch himself properly. That is very scary if I'm a Pelicans fan. Like, here we go again with this. Like, it's, it's one thing to me to have the weight on him and not be able to go, okay, he, he loses some weight in the offseason, gets in better shape. Now it's like he doesn't even know how to, like, fall. I, I don't know about this one, man. I don't, I'm not so sure Zion's going to be back in the lineup in a game or two. This might keep him out for some time. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But again, it's a, if, if I'm a Pelicans fan, it's like, here we go again. We we want to see Zion on the court. He's too young to be having these injury concerns like this. If I'm a Pelicans fan, I'm, I'm looking around like, look at the West. Denver's going to struggle to figure it out. Phoenix, we'll see what happens with them. It's open right now for one of these young teams to win some games early in the season, put some pressure on some of these big dogs. And the Pelicans got the lineup to do it. They got to make up the team to do it, but they need Zion out there to do it. 